Hey guys, welcome back to Call of the Wild. Hope you're having a really good week so far, and I want to say thank you for all the awesome comments on yesterday's video where we accidentally found one of the most epic diamonds in Call of the Wild. I ended up taking him down with the M1. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure you go and check that out after this video. But this video, we're actually going to be out here on, what is this called again? Hirschfelden. I haven't hunted here in so long. I forgot what the name of this map is. But last time I came here was maybe like a month ago when we got a couple of diamond geese. But anyways, I hardly ever hunt here, and today we're going to be hunting with the muzzleloader, the 50 cal hunts muzzleloader, and we have loaded with us the 50 cal sabots. So primarily we're going to be focusing on fallow deer and wild boar. So let's see how this muzzleloader really works. Um, well, I just found something super rare, a super rare albino roe deer. But I also realized that I did not bring the round balls for this thing. I have the 50 cal, which is way too big, and I think that's potentially a gold. We found the albino roe deer zone right here, 120 yards away. Now, we have the M1 on us, which really isn't going to do any good. But I want to show you a little bit more of this row and how rare this is. I've never... In three years of playing, seen anything close to as cool as this. Especially for a roe deer. Like, roe deer are one of the most boring species to hunt. Because they're just not that interesting. But that really couldn't get any more interesting. <laughs> when I first saw it, I was thinking, what is that? I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> it almost looked like one of those uh, leucistic reindeer. Or a leucistic caribou. But, that's a roe deer. <laughs> so, we do have the zone. I'm not too worried at this point. And remember, I don't have the round balls, so we really can't take a shot on this roe deer just yet. But what I think we're going to do is fast travel to a tent, grab the round balls, change the time back to whatever time the zone is, and hope that this sweet, rare albino roe deer comes back. All right, so we just got back to the lodge here. We're going to buy some of these 50 cal round balls. We already have these ones, but these are only for level four and up. And I don't see a road here on here. I believe that's a wolf. So anything smaller than a wild boar, we're going to need the round balls, which we're going to buy right now. We have to get within 100 yards to use these things. So we're going to have to get close, but let's buy about 30 of these. That should be good. All we need is one for this road here. All right, guys, we just got back to our spot where we last saw that row, but I don't see him anywhere at this point. We'll keep looking around here and hope that we see him somewhere. If not, we'll have to get on his tracks. Now, I did see a female roe deer. Actually, there's a roe deer right there. That's the female I saw. So, if she's there... Oh my god, oh my god, there he is, there he is. I was right, he's right behind that female. Look, there's the female. And all of a sudden I saw something white coming in really, really quick. We do have our muzzleloader loaded, so let's slide over a little bit. There he is, there he is. <laughs> That's so cool. That is so cool right there. 70 yards away, so he's in range, guys. Let's back up a little bit and actually hang tight right here. We're zeroed in for 80, so that should be pretty much perfect. I kind of want to wait till he turns broadside a little bit. Oh man, this is awesome. Well, let's see kind of what happens. Okay. Looks like he's stopping right there. He's down! Albino Rodier down with the muzzler and the round balls. Wow! I've never seen something this cool here before. Never. I mean, not only is it a rare, it's an albino, and it's a big buck. I mean, huge buck. That thing is just stunning. Wow. Yeah, I never thought I'd see something like this on this map. I mean, I don't really hunt this map that much because, well, you don't really see too many cool things here, but that's going to be a gold, no way. An albino gold roe deer. 
That's an ultra rare. That's not even a super rare. That's an ultra rare albino roe deer buck gold. I am so glad I trust the main stinks on this one and decided to think that it's probably going to be a gold. I mean, based off the weight on it, I thought it potentially could be a gold, but I didn't know for sure. That's a real good size gold. That's dang near close to a diamond. 81.7. That's 10 points above gold. Wow. Let's take a look at that shot though. Ended up getting double lung with the 50 count round balls at 70 yards. Perfect double lung. Looks like it went right through behind that shoulder there. And oh my God, that's, that is just something you never see. Okay guys, let's show you where we just got that giant rare gold albino roe deer. Now we're kind of right dead center in the middle of the map here. If you look at this outpost, the Rathenfelt Northern Outpost, you go south, there's a bunch of mountains here, kind of like the last mountain before this field. And maybe like 100 yards in is the roe deer zone right here from five until nine o'clock. And we actually kicked him up. We came from here and ran straight this way. And I saw him trotting off this direction here. And that's where we got him right here. Well, that is a really nice fallow buck right there. I wasn't planning on going after fallow, but since we have this guy here, he's 140 out. And I do believe we can use the 50 cal sabots on him. So I don't think we actually have the rattler. I think I took it off. Or let me see. Uh, no, we don't have it. Okay. Yeah, because I had to replace that with the uh, roe deer collar, but... I mean, he's definitely in range. We can take up to a 212 yard shot with the 50 cal. Um, I'm just gonna call him Sabbats. So 160, maybe we could just get his attention. <laughs> We're going for it. I mean, it looked good. I believe, yeah, we most certainly dropped him. That actually held pretty steady. We're running around for a little bit, but we just took that shot standing up, free-handed at 160 yards out. And that's pretty much right on the money. I do want to make sure we have the zone. I think, yeah, we do. Okay, five till nine. But that's going to be a decent one. I think he's actually the big three, but let's grab him. That's going to be a gold double lung at 146 yards. So these are technically called, I guess, the mini ball. But like I said, I'm gonna start calling them the sabots because there's no way I'm gonna remember the mini ball. But let's take a look at that shot really quick. That was a perfect double lung, held it right on the front shoulder. It looks like um, we had maybe three, four inches of clearance there of the shoulder blade. So you can kind of see this little gap right here from here to here is all the play that we basically had. So apparently you can hold it right on the front shoulder and you'll get double lung on these guys. Awesome. Nice gold. I'm really happy with that. All right. We found the whole herd of wild boar and I still have yet to see a male. So at this point, we might end up going for one of these females. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to go for this female. 100 yards out and we'll drop her right there. But let's grab. Our first wild boar with the muzzleloader, double lung liver. It's only a female, but the amount of penetration with this muzzleloader is phenomenal. Okay, I kind of want to test the limits on this 50 cal muzzleloader, and we have out here three wild boar. This one is 220 yards. We can zero in for 210, and that should be pretty much right on. 218. Yeah, that's pretty much right on. Of course, we're gonna go forward and then back up just a little bit. That way we don't hit the hill here. But 225 yards. How did we do? I guess pretty good. Well, let's find out how far that actually was. 226 yards and left lung. Not bad. It's pretty much exactly where I was aiming for, too. Well, we finally found a decent sized male out here. He sped it out here at about 60 yards in front of us, but we also have this buffalo that kind of seems to mark his territory here, so I don't really want to spook him. So I guess what we'll do is just slide on over there and maybe get within like 50 yards away from these suckers and try and find that nice male. 
Also, we should slide past this buffalo and he hopefully will leave us alone. We can't use the muzzleloader on the buffalo. We can only use it up to a level 8. So, yeah. There he is. There he is. Coming up over the ridge here at about 90 yards out. Big old male finally coming in at the last second. Well, I just saw him and now I can't see him anymore. Unless that's him there in the middle. Um. Oh, there he is. Okay, so he's 30 yards away. I really would like to get him with the muzzleloader in open sights right now, but we gotta get him to stand up. 30 yards is, that's pretty close. That's him there. Watch him. Try not to lose focus, that's him there. Oh, so close. I could have taken it, but you guys probably won't be able to see it that good. So I want to wait a little bit here. That'll work. That'll work. It looked good. Yes. <sighs> okay. So I use just like you would in real life where I just barely put the uh, tip of the top bead right on the lung and it was perfect. If you look right there, you can see right where we hit, right there. Perfect. Wow. Let's grab him. And double lung. He's going to score 120.8. Let's take a look at where we actually did hit him. And yeah, I mean, that was a beautiful shot. 34 yards away and a really nice gold wild boar. Got a fox back there. So there's a three. We got a two. A couple of fox. Wow. Three, a two. Um, but let's find out where these wild boar are going. That's the big one right there. I think they're going to be somewhere over there. Let's just watch. Right there, we just figured out where they feed. And that's also why I couldn't see them. Because look, they're kind of on the edge of that field. I just walked right past that whole field. And all I saw was this road here because he's out in the open. The wild boar are tucked in kind of in the back. And that's the big one there. He's about 150 out. I do believe that's probably the biggest one here. Yeah. So, I think we're just gonna go for that. He's kind of broadside. Not only that, we have tons of penetration with this, so. Another one behind that one that I can't quite see, but. That is not him, that is not him, so somehow he decided to bed down and now he just got back up. Let's go for this. So he keeps walking. Every time I'm about to squeeze the trigger, he's walking, but he's kind of stopped. It looked good. Man, I love this muzzleloader. He's piled up right there, guys. Big old wild boar. Actually, that wasn't just a big one. That was a monster. 120 on the minimum score estimate on that thing. So here he is. Let's pick up our really nice 125 gold wild boar. We got a double lung stomach liver at 155 out on that wild boar. He should have been facing just like that. Right there. We should have hit like right here. Oh, nice. So we did get a little bit of draw. We stayed zeroed in for 110. And I was holding for right about here. Kind of the middle upper part of the lung. And it dropped in there really nicely. But no problem at all. Definitely smoked that wild boar at 150 out. And that's going to be a nice gold as well. Nope. That is definitely a road deer. Okay. Uh, we could maybe change out to the round ball. Let's try that once. The cool part is, when you change out to the round ball, it doesn't actually have to reload. It's already loaded up. So, if we could see him. It was definitely a vital hit. And he's down. 
Nice. But yeah, actually, that's kind of not a bad idea. You can, you don't have to reload your muzzleloader. You can just, I mean, it's cool to watch it reload, don't get me wrong. But if you need to do it really quick, all you have to do is do that. And you're all loaded. You're all set. Locked and loaded to go. I I just saw a fox taking off over there, but let's go grab this road here and... Hey, look at that. That's going to be a gold. 30 yards out. We did end up using the round balls. And hit that shoulder. That's why. We only got a single lung, but that's a gold. That is actually very similar to the gold that we got that was an albino in the beginning. It scored 80, I believe, or something like that. Yeah, 81. So this rack here is a little bit smaller than our albino. Our albino was just a little bit bigger. That's how cool and rare that buck really was. Okay, guys, let me show you where we just got that huge wild boar and the gold roe deer. We're way on the north end of the map over here by Peter Shane and pretty much just go straight north. It is, well, we started at 5 o'clock in the morning. Anyways, just go across this field, the second field, right at the edge of the third field here. There is a zone from 3 o'clock until 7.30 right here. This is where the wild boar feed. And I'm pretty sure that they might actually be back in here as well. I heard some more calling over here, but that's a really good spot apparently for some wild boar. Well, we just came up for the next ridge here, and I just found another herd of wild boar. They're right here on the edge of this corn, and I thought I saw a decent one somewhere right over here. You can see they're just barely visible, and I really can't get too much closer. We have a roadie right there as well. I saw a stag somewhere over there too, but... Oh, hold up. Uh, apparently we have more wild boar and that might be the big one that I saw. That might be him there at 333 yards. It just so happens that we have a rock right here too. So 320 yards. That felt good. Might have been just a touch forward. But let's see. Oh my god! That's a dime potential. That is a dime potential wild boar. And we never would have seen him if I wouldn't have taken that shot at that one at 300 yards, which I honestly don't even know if we hit it. Okay, good. So it's actually a good thing we didn't hit it. But that's a dime potential wild boar. Oh, that's so cool. We just got that big one, right? And it was big, but this one is gonna be bigger. Now we just gotta figure out a way to kind of cut them off and get in range. Also, we should probably reload this sucker. And we're not gonna take a 200 yard shot, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> At least not on this thing. Uh, I don't think they'd be sleeping now, would they sleep? No. We got him! We got that wild boar at 300 yards! It's not the big one, but it was a decent three. So, that's kind of cool, I guess. The fact that you can take down a wild boar at 300 yards with this muzzleloader. That's not him. That's him! Sucker came right around us. I thought that he was out in this field, but then when I heard something behind us here, it made me think twice and I thought, maybe that's him. Well, if I would have just trusted my instincts, I would have known he was there and we would went prone. Never would have spooked him like that. There has got to be like 15 wild boar out here right now. There he is! Holy crap, there he is! I was like, where did he go? I couldn't find him anywhere. Finally got a second look at him. He's 150 out right there, guys. Keep an eye on him. Come on, stop. 
They don't stop for too long. But that felt pretty good. Yes! Wow, that was a tough hunt. I've been circling around this whole field for the last, uh, probably like 20 minutes now to find his track. I couldn't find his track anywhere. I didn't know where he went, and I know it's resting zone now, and I just had to sit here and wait to figure out what was going on. But that is so cool to see him pile up there. And actually, if you look at the map, this is where I saw his last track. We spotted him right here. And I had his last track here. I couldn't find his track anywhere. But finally we waited. Gave him time to uh, come back, calm down, and we got him. I think we ended up taking the shot like way up here. Because it took that long for him to kind of slow down just a little bit. And also, it looks like he was about to be gone. So I am so glad we were able to uh, make that happen. Oh no! Let's maybe try... If I can get this to come off. No, 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 no. I didn't want that to happen. There we go, right there. Okay. Let's grab him. He's a gold. What? After all that, 143.9, he needs to be 144.2. So he was like, 0.3 points off from being a diamond. Hit slightly back, but he was walking. He didn't want to slow down much. Ended up getting stomach, liver, and right lung at 160. But a dime potential for sure. Holy! So many wild boars. Oh, that was a really nice shot. Okay, let's just grab this one and head on over to the lodge. Nice! Perfect! That's exactly what I wanted. Big old gold to finish off the hunt. On the run, left lung, stomach, liver. Wow, very nice shot with the M1 there. Uh, We are not going to get a mountain, but nice! Okay. All right, I thought we head back to our trophy lodge, and this right here is what should have been a huge diamond wild boar, but just didn't quite make it. Coming in at 143.9, and we needed 142.2, I believe. Just barely missed it. I have gotten two diamond wild boar before. They were both five mediums, so this is the first time I've ever seen a five medium that didn't make diamond. But he's still an absolute monster, and I'm really glad to have him in our new trophy lodge here. He looks really good, actually. Maybe we should take a picture of him. Cool. Now, there's one thing in particular in here. Well, actually, there's two things that are really, really special. Of course, that's the one we got yesterday. But this is the one that we got today with the muzzleloader. Not only is it a rare, but it's an ultra rare because it's a gold. And it's something that I've never seen one even close to this big in three years of hunting on Call of the Wild. That right there is definitely considered an ultra rare massive gold albino roe deer 200 and wait no that's definitely not the score <laughs> well what did this thing score 81.7 score on this albino roe deer buck wow and i hope you guys find this video helpful i hope you go to some of those spots find yourselves a diamond wild boar for yourselves and maybe even a really cool super rare albino roe deer just like this also one more thing i want to thank the president of the united states for helping us out during this crucial time with the stimulus check that i just received this morning and my girlfriend as well so thank you so much president trump god bless you all and we'll see you next time